Do I have the time to return and see those dear to me? Constantine, how are you feeling? Death is on my doorstep, and all hope has flown through the window. Come closer. What ill tidings do you bring? Yes. I thought you might want to know more concerning the, uh, events that have taken place. The attempted coup d'etat of the traitors. Yes. I am eager to hear what has transpired within these very walls when I think of the cold-blooded face of that treacherous Kurt. You showed exemplary true courage. Not only have you looked out for me, like always, but you have protected my advisors. And saved our city and our mother cardinal. An immense service that we shall never forget. She has asked me to relay to you her most profound gratitude. <sighs> to me? How very nice of her. I imagine that you know that Hikmet had less luck. She flies the banners of the Coin Guard as we speak. Most of the scholars were massacred, but their governor has sought refuge here. This treacherous commander must be celebrating at least his partial success. But his victory will be for a short time. He must be stupid to have thought that the nations of the continents will let him trade with them and won't cut him off. I wish him luck in finding a port that will welcome him. And you were able to catch his lieutenants. The squires will pay for the crimes of their masters, as happens too often. It is hard to swallow that Kurt betrayed us. We've known him for such a long time. To think that he trained both of us, drumming into us, fight with honor. How tragically ironic. You were able to turn that to our advantage. That little phrase is what saved our lives. As to why he betrayed us, he has taken that with him to the tomb. Fortunately, the entire guard did not follow his example. Many have remained loyal. What do you plan on doing to them? How can we give them our complete trust? We cannot. But we cannot do without soldiers, either. We shall have them pledge allegiance to the Congregation of Merchants. And I shall name a trustworthy intendant to keep them in line. Nothing more can be done. Before you leave, I must ask you something. All right. I'm listening. I'm always suffering, cousin. I'm in such terrible pain and we're yet to discover a cure. I'm sorry. I fully intend to continue my research. We have a number of leads, but with all that's been happening... Don't blame yourself. I know how much you do for me. Yet... I'm afraid that before the sickness claims me, the pain will have driven me mad. <sighs> if only there was a way to ease my suffering. I know of a healer with powers that are legendary amongst the clans. It is rumored he can alleviate even the most terrible pains. His village is west of the city. I could take you there. One of our holy men lives in San Mateus. His healing powers are supposedly miraculous. Alas, it is a miracle we are in need of, my son. I'm nothing more than a sailor. I don't have much to offer when it comes to healing. As it would seem to lay me a prey for the Malachor, just like the Bridge Alliance, perhaps it would be best to ask for aid from those not suffering from the plague. Thank you, as always, for your advice. Cousin, you are the only one I trust, so please, don't let me lose my mind. I'll follow the leads and find a way. I won't let you down. Hold on. I'll be back as soon as I can.
Karanz, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? You for your visit. See you soon. Come closer, good people. The Blades, armor, locks, custom pieces made to order.
Protect me in this battle! Quessy! Get out! Who do you think you are to defoil our ritual? One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Aiden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tien. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A moin shaker? Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is on all Manawi. Present yourself and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. My name is Desarde. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. I greet you, Don Egad. We are so sorry to have interrupted your ritual. But my friend truly needs your advice. Don't excuse yourself. Are you the daughter of Bladnid? Are you not a Don Egad as well? It is true. But my powers of healing are far less powerful than your own. And you travel with a mind shaker. Strange trio. I am Bishop Petrus, but I am not a mind shaker. 
A missionary? Why, pray tell, are you asking? There are people wearing the same insignia that pass their time troubling the minds of my people. Missionaries? I was not aware. I'm only here to accompany my friend, I assure you. He is not a bad man, Donegad, even if his beliefs are foreign and strange. Then, how can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness, the Malako. I do not know this sickness. But perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black and provokes terrible suffering. And alas, it is fatal in all cases. We've never seen the ailing touched by such a sickness. And I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy, but urgently need to relieve his pain. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain, even the most severely wounded. But Tiern, with all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. My village needs me now. I cannot leave. I must attend them. What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well then, tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place. Turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded. But the Moin Shakers remained. And it was also at that time the Tenlands started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded, and recently many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries, perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do. But I need more information. Our master hunter, or the families of the Taken, could most likely help you. Very well. I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this master hunter. He may be able to explain all there is to learn about these attacks. Good day. Are you the Master Hunter? Beur tir to madre, I say. I am indeed one and the same person. What do you want of me? The Denegad, Katasach, spoke to me about the animal attacks. Can you tell me more? The Tenlands have been angered. They are very angry. The beasts have always lived here. But they only attack if we tread near their nest. Of late, they attack on sight. There have been many wounded, and some of our young have even disappeared. It may be that the Tenlands killed them, but it is also possible they followed the missionaries. What can you tell me about the Tenlands? They are normally very peaceful creatures, very calm but who defend their young with fury. During the attacks, I noticed that they were not all the same. Not all from the same nest. What do you mean? That the other beasts don't come from here, but from other places. And that they are coming more and more often. Were there many victims? Many wounded. Thanks to the healing powers of the Donegad, they survived, but the attacks happen more and more often, 
and they come with greater fury. I try to chase them away, to destroy any nests that I found, but still, more of them come. And now our children disappear. The stress alone could kill our village. Can you tell me who the children are? A young fisherman and a gatherer. You will find the sister of the woman and the brother of the man in the village. I will go and see them. Isn't it odd that these creatures who are normally passive have become so aggressive? Yes. Yes. This has never happened in my lifetime. What do you know? Speak. Lives are at risk. I do not speak of things I am not sure of. The Renaixe, like you, do not understand the bond we have with nature. I believe I can help you in your fight against the Tenlands. How would you advise me to go about it? You must destroy their nests. It's sad, but the only way to stop their numbers growing. There are most likely three around here. I can point you in the direction to one that I discovered. I would have taken care of it, but my village cannot spare my presence here. I must keep watch. I did not find the two others. Some in the village may know where to find them. Hmm. And how would I go about destroying the nests? You must burn them and kill the dominant one. Or else they will build again. We see them especially at dawn. After that, we no longer see them. But be careful, Renaxi. The night belongs to the Tenlands. That is when they are most awake. Going out at night is very dangerous. I thank you for your advice. We shall go and destroy these nests come dawn. Is there anything that we might be able to do for you? Besides destroying their nests and fighting the Denlands? Do you know the art of crafting weapons? Our artisan was among the wounded, and my weapon is broken. I can try to repair it. Here, in this condition, it is of no use to me at all. What do you know about the missionaries? The Moin Shakers? They came here before the attacks of the Tenlands, and buzz around us like flies. They speak of light, of demons, and the soul. Their words make little sense. All that they want is for us to join their village, and that we serve them as if they were Tiern. They want to make us Renaixe. They want to sever our bond with our lands. Their words do not touch those old enough to understand. But the young are sometimes swayed and listen. They follow them to their Eden village. And they become their servants. Their bond is cut. Have you tried to fight them? No. But some have fought. Because they treat the young girls badly. I think if not for the attacks, no one would have turned to them and their light. But hope fled our village. And the weak of courage have doubts and listen to their lies. It sounds as if the attacks began at a timely moment for the missionaries. I must be going. Katasach advised us to speak with the families of those missing. Perhaps they might know where the tenants have built their nests.
Good day. My name is Desarde from the congregation. I've been told that someone dear to you has disappeared. Yes, my little brother. He left to go fishing, like every day, and he did not return. Your Denegar asked me to help you. Any information you can give me will be very useful. This is true. I hope your words to be heartfelt. My insides are twisting in fear that my brother is lost. Can you describe your brother for me? He is young, rather tall and strong. The girls find him handsome. He is such a nice boy, but he is wild off the tether, and often his curiosity gets him in trouble. Can you tell me more precisely when he disappeared, where, and under what circumstances? It was two days past. I saw him leave to go fishing, as he was often to do. And you cannot remember anything out of the ordinary? No, he was full of joy, full of life. I am so worried about him. Did your brother have any enemies? No, I can't think of anyone who would plant strangleweeds in his garden. Perhaps a youthful rivalry. He didn't get along particularly well with the Master Hunter, but it was nothing serious. Perhaps the missionaries. He did get into a fight with them. But they surely wouldn't have taken him. It's still a lead. Was he close to anyone? He has been dreamy and more joyful than usual. Those are the signs of someone stricken with love. But he no longer wants to share secrets with me. He told me that he has grown beyond the shadow of his brother. And the birds in his branches are his. What do you think most likely happened to him? He could have come face to face with Tenlands. They've become angry of late. But he knew how to avoid them. He might have had a run-in with the Mind Shakers as well. He got into a fight with them a while back. Because of a young girl in our village. You think the missionaries might have sought vengeance? I don't know. But he might have went to find them in their village. He bears no good feelings towards them. I will go and see. Maybe they can tell me more. What can you tell us about the Tenlands? They are beasts that live near water, rivers or coasts. In all our memories, only if you approach their nests do they anger and attack. But lately... Yes, Kadasak told me they attacked the villagers. Could you point me in the direction of their nest? I know where to find one, but there are certainly more. My brother should not have left the village alone. But for a while now, he does not share my fears for him. Could you tell me about the missionaries? The Mind Shakers? They came here to take us to a marvelous village. They said it was a perfect place where all is shining in light and where there is no danger. Their words seem to have been to your liking. A place full of peace is a dream. Here, we must fight to survive since the Tenlands have grown angry. And now, their stories of light are difficult to imagine. It seems like a beautiful place, though. But my brother fought with them. They gave trouble to a young girl, one of his friends. He told me that these Mind Shakers were liars. That they were hurting the more innocent young. I don't really know what to think. If they took them... Could you tell them to give them back? There is no fair trade for our children. The story about the fight compels me to at least ask them some questions. I must be leaving.
Good day. I've been sent here by your Denegad. He asked me to help you. I hope he is right, and that you are not like the Moin Shakers. My sister has gone missing. It is for that very reason that I am here. To attempt to find her or to understand what has happened. Then I will tell you what I know. Your sister, what does she look like? She is a very beautiful young woman. Kind and sweet. I miss her so very much. Is she very careful? Does she know she should be wary of the beasts? Oh yes, she knows it very well. But she has been star-eyed of late. And the stars make you forget all caution. How long has she been missing? Two nights have gone by since. She told me that she was going to gather berries. It was early in the day, but she never returned. I called for her from the edge of the village, in vain, and the ten lands were roaming. Do you know where she usually goes picking? Certainly, in the clearing. We find a great many berries there. Is there anyone in the village that might want to harm her? No, no, everyone loves her. Maybe a little too much. Why do you say that? She is beautiful and young. The mind shakers took notice. And the boys of the village did as well. What do you think has likely happened? She might have been attacked by the Tenlands. But it was early, and they come out mostly at night. You think it might have been something else? I hope. Even if it is a strange hope. Perhaps she was taken by the mind shakers. They were pestering her the other day. They behaved without respect. A boy intervened and chased them off. But you think that they might have captured her when she was outside of the village? That merits inspection. Was your sister fond of a young fisherman who also disappeared by any chance? They have known each other since they were little. Like all the children of the village, they have always been friends. Only friends? Yes. He defended her when the Mind Shakers wanted to take her. But she is promised to another. I couldn't care less about her reputation. An engagement can be broken. If you know anything at all... I have told you all I know. My sister is certainly wounded somewhere, or... ...taken by the Mind Shakers. Very well. Time to get on with my investigations. Tell me about the Tenlands, about their attacks. Before, I only very rarely came across the beasts. We knew their nesting grounds and kept clear of them. But now, they are everywhere and they attack everyone. They've even been known to come as close as the clearing where we pick berries. Very far from their favorite grounds. Do you know how to fight them? No, I am not a fighter. If you want such advice, ask the Master Hunter. Very well. I will go and investigate this clearing. Perhaps they've built a nest nearby. It is possible. Because before, there was never one near there. Could you tell me anything about the missionaries? They are monosynaic. They think that they can take anything they desire. What do you mean? They came to our beautiful village. They wanted to take away our young people. Many heard their words and left. We never saw them again. But I saw how they treated my sister. I believe that they take the young to serve them. They wanted to take my sister like that, as if she were a tool. And if it were not for the young fisherman... The one who's also missing? Yes. He was very brave. I hope they didn't hurt her to avenge their pride. I'm going to have to go and speak with them. I must leave now.
Here is your weapon. It has been made new. Thank you. You have given it back its purpose. It belonged to my master before me, and you have understood its nature. It may be that you are more on Ormanawi than Renaixe, and that you will one day see as we. During my walks, I saw a great tenlan of clear skin. The others seemed to follow him. I felt that he called them, that he fed them rage, and that his place is not here. Why didn't you try to kill it? He is very strong, and the others protect him. I was only able to track him to his lair, a cavern. I placed traps all around it, but all were avoided. He is clever. You say he doesn't have his place here. What do you mean? That he was brought here to attract the others and make them rage by men. The Renaik say. But I cannot prove this. That is why I did not wish to voice these thoughts. I feel it. Nothing more. The brother of the young fisherman told me that you do not get along. We have had arguments from time to time, but they were of no importance. This boy is too quick to anger. He does not have the calm of a good hunter of fish. And you didn't try to rid yourself of him? Of course not. None of our kind would do such a thing. I must be going. Oh, God. 